what, what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A 19-year-old is on the lam after being charged with murder for the second time in less than a year. Houston police have identified Emma Pressler as the suspect in a murder investigation after she allegedly entered a home on the night of August 6th in the 2000 block of Aspen Glade Drive in Kingwood and poured a flammable liquid on 33-year-old Devin Graham. Now, Pressler lit Graham on fire, and that was a 26-year-old by the name of Carissa Lindros, who was also in the home at the time. She suffered severe burns. Both were taken to an area hospital by life flight, where Graham succumbed to his injuries. Pressler was also charged with murder back in September of 2020, when police say that she killed 20-year-old Sierra Rhodes. Now, Sierra was shot through her bedroom window. Murder, can you imagine that, fam? Being in your bedroom, and somebody bang on you through the window like that? That's what they say happened. This chick is apparently dangerous. They actually say that this woman is from Houston. Uh, not a good look for us. We got enough killers out here. Um, but damn, it seems like uh, the pandemic uh, got a whole lot of people on the edge. They had her suspected for murder in 2020, but they let her go. The judge let her go because of insufficient evidence. Y'all think they got enough evidence now? This chick is a bad seed. From what I'm getting, all the energy that I'm getting, ain't no way that you're gonna be accused of a murder and then just one year later actually set somebody on fire. I'm talking about if you're innocent. And then you just one year later, you setting somebody on fire. This tells me that somebody didn't do their job and that this chick should have never been let out in the first place. But I can see it right now. Went in there with those tears. Went in there just playing that little innocence, playing a little sweet innocent role. They probably put on one of those little Mormon dresses and dolled her hair up and had her walking out like she was just poly purebred. And the judge was like, meet me in my quarters. <laughs> yeah, fam, you got to watch those judges. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. I wonder how they feel. No, no you know, it, it doesn't matter. They don't feel anything. I was thinking about the investigators and stuff because somebody is saying like, yeah, you see that? You know, they let this killer go and she did it again. So somebody is saying that, and I'm sure the family of the deceased, the uh, the first uh, girl, Sierra Rhodes, who was murdered in uh, 2020, I'm sure that they got a lot to say, and I'm sure that a lawsuit is forthcoming. But that's what it is, fam. Once again, you got to be very careful of the company you keep. It's people all around you. And sounds like to me that this girl knew who her killer was. And same as the situation is with uh, the dude that ended up getting uh, you know, burned. She, he knew. These are people, and that's what they say, like most of the time when people get hurt, when people are hurt, people are murdered, it's usually somebody that they know. So what does that tell you, fam? You gotta pick your friends very, very carefully. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah.